Yo, hello everyone! Organizing your products is essential for a seamless shopping experience. In this tutorial, I will show you how to add categories in Equid. From creating and managing categories to assigning products to the appropriate category. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, once you have opened your account on Equid, click here to go to your website settings. Next thing to do is simply make sure that you have already products in your page. If not, you can click on your store from here and then you can create product through this section. Now, as you might see here, there is this appearance options. Here, you'll find products, lists and categories. So through here, we can actually start making categories and much more like that. So here we have product name. We can choose to show it or not. So do not show, show or mouse hover, for example. So let's try for example like that. Here it will show you the name once you hover up to it. Here it will not show the name and like that it will show the name with the price. So I will make it show on mouse hover. The price so almost over as well so it's gonna be something like that as you might see it's looking pretty nice and now for this queue I'm not gonna show it even though here they are but I'm not really interested in showing it so do not show for buy now button we can add it so show here we can even add it for here to can buy it now here the main product image we can either show it or not but if you didn't show it and you don't have any one of these uh, on so the settings on nothing will be shown in the website so make sure to make it either on and these ones are off or these ones on and this one is off now let's go all the way down to the categories here you might find show on the image, show under the image, show on mouse hover, show state of the image or do not show. Well, you might tell me now, okay, I know, I get it, this is categories. We can show it, we can hide it, we can make it on hover, but how can we create this category itself? That's what I'm going to show you right now. So all you have to do guys is pretty simple. Go to the main page that you have opened in the beginning, and through here you will find this menu. Click on here, catalog, you'll find products, categories and gift cards. Choose categories. And here you go. Here you can create rules category through here, give it a name. So for example, food. We can even give it a description and give it an image. Let's try to give it a random image. So let's try to give it this image. Food, alright, and I don't know. Or let's name it cat. And let's save it. So here I have created this category, which is cats. There is zero products assigned to this category, as you can see here. So cat zero. Here you can check the category product and assign product to this category. So let's add some product. For example, let's say iPhone X is kind of food of cat, so I'm gonna add it here. And here we go, now it will be changed to one once I save this. So once I save it, it will be added here and it will be as one product assigned to the cat category. Make sure also guys to add the ECO so you can optimize the category uh, uh, search engine and it will rank higher in the search engines as I said. So this is pretty important. And now as you can see, everything is good. Let's try to look in here. So let's refresh this page. And as you can see, this is cat's category. If I clicked on it, uh, here we go. This is iPhone X that I showed you. And now let me just open the website itself without anything. So let me just open it like that. And let's try to go through the website. So this is the cat. And if I clicked on it, I will have iPhone X in this category. And now let's try that one more time, shall we? Let's go here. And then let me just open the website settings once more so we can have it open. And now let's go all the way down to the store section. And then I'm going all the way down to the product list and categories. Click on that and then go all the way down to the category section, which is going to be around here, I guess. Product name, categories. Yep, here. 
So category name position. So we can show on the image, for example, here. Uh, you can show under the image, as you can see, show on mouse hover, show instead of the image, or do not show at all. So this is how it works. There is five options as I said. Now it will not be appearing on this pro product uh, section even though iPhone X is now has been added to this category but still how can we remove it from here now let's go to catalog once more and check our product which is iPhone X so here I'm going to categories and check store from page here we go here and then category product I'm going to remove iPhone X from it so now since I have removed it if I refresh this page it will no longer be in this section. Now, where can we find it? Well, the same thing. Let's click on cats and here it is. Now, this is just an example that you can use on many other ways. So let's try now to create another category. Uh, let me just refresh this be quick. And here we go. So it is very easy to use guys. And as I mentioned before, the cat has been added one so there is one category one product assigned to this category so now let's expand all if you want to like or collapse all if you want to merge them together and expand all if you want to see all everything in detail now let's create another root category and let's name it food and now let's try to get some real food so food has been added and then i'm going to click on save and it will be saved let me get a sushi image here we go Save image. Um, all right, let me just get this one, I think. Or this one, I'm trying to get like a PNG file. All right, here we go. And what I'm going to do now is create a product. So add a new product and upload image. So choose the sushi image. And here I'm going to add the name sushi. Here, the same thing, description sushi. And assign categories to this product. I'm going to assign food. And once you're done with this, all you have to do is click on save. And it is now saved. So now if I want here and I refresh the page, look how it's going to look like. There is two categories, one for cats and one for food. If I clicked on food normally, so let me just go back. Let me just refresh. So if I clicked on food, what shall it be for us? Exactly. Sushi. So this is the sushi product that we have added to our website. This is really, really good, guys. So you can organize your stuff. So when the customer comes to your website, we'll know how to go through the website, how to go through the menu, how to, where to find the product that he's looking for, the categories, and etc. So that's why categories are really important on a Shopify or Equid website or any store that you have. And yeah, guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial.